At 644, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. So this morning we are talking about the most common cancer for men. No one wants to get that diagnosis, but as Stephanie Whitfield shows us, treatment has come a long way. Morton McPhail is a former Houstonian. Now he's retired, living in the Hill Country with his wife, but he still visits Houston to see his oncologist. I think it was in 2011 when I first got confirmation from a biopsy. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Morton has undergone treatment twice now. I have had very few side effects. Uh, you know, I'm four weeks out and basically I'm doing anything I want to do. This is the probe here. His experience is the perfect example of the paradigm shift already underway in prostate cancer treatment. His doctor, Stephen Canfield with UT Health Houston, says radiation or radical surgery used to be the norm. No matter how well you do it, it is always going to impact some of those major quality of life effects that cause men to avoid seeking diagnosis and treatment. And, um, and we deserve better, men deserve better, and uh, it's time for uh, new treatments. He says minimally invasive treatments have been available in different cancers. Now, prostate cancer is catching up. Focal therapy only targets cancerous tissues. This is video from Morton McPhail's procedure this summer. Something really new and innovative is using no heat at all and just destroying tissue without any heat. Less invasive procedures aren't an option for all patients. Morton is so grateful for how far treatment options have come in the decade since he was first diagnosed. I'm just extraordinarily pleased that my life has not been disrupted by what could be a fairly negative diagnosis. Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News. The doctors say prostate cancer is more common for older men, black men, and people with a family history. For those at higher risk, doctors recommend getting screened starting at the age of 50. I get screened every year. Important to stay on top Absolutely. of it. Absolutely.